Okay, in this AutoCAD example, we're going to uh, create an interelevation tag that relates two drawings to one another. For example, uh, you might have a floor plan here, and you need to allow someone to understand where to, where to see this elevation here, or these elevations here of this countertop. And they're in another page in the set. So for example, this is A11, and if you navigate to a different page, for example here, you might be on A62, and these elevations relate uh, to the floor plan in some way. This is elevation number one, for example. So how do we do, how do we create a tag that, that, that displays that relationship? So let's start here in the floor plan. And here we'll just simply draw a tag. So I'll draw a, a circle, for example, and make it a quarter inch diameter. I'll, I'll draw a line from here, uh, see I draw a line from this quadrant QA to this quadrant here QUA and then to this quadrant QUA and to the end point of this line here. And so I've got that, I've got that arrow right there. Now I'm going to need a, a new layer because this, this project is controlled by layer states. So I need a new layer for this object. So I will I will simply come into here and make a new layer and I'll call it uh, a elevation tag and I will make it color 3 for example. So that's the interrelation tag. I need to fill this in with color or a b-hatch rather. I'm going to b-hatch. I'm going to do a solid fill solid inside of there on the same layer. So all of this is going to be on this layer called a elevation tag. And then I need an attribute, a text. So this arrow is pointing up is going to it's going to announce what elevation this is and on what page it's found. So I'll type ATT. Actually, let me change the, the elevation tag layer. So elevation tag layer is here. So ATT. Uh, this is going to use the, the, the title uh, text style, and here I want to enter the height of the text, so it's 330 seconds when it prints out. And the tag here would be, let's say it's this facing up, so it's north, so I'll call this the north tag. The, the question is, uh, maybe the north question mark. Actually, uh, detail dash sheet question and then the default is x over xx I'll justify this to the center middle center I'll lock its position so it doesn't move it's going to be visible so I don't need to uncheck that and I'll put this tag here and I'll move it to the center of that line right there. So I'm going to take this tag, take the middle center tag and put it right in the MID or midpoint of that right there. And then move it down a little bit. So then I'll make that a block in order to activate this attribute. So I will I'll make a block. I'll call this the the north elevation tag i'll select this objects here i will pick up insertion point which is in the middle of this line mid of that line right there and i hit ok and then simply need to fill this out so where is that drawing well this is the elevation here uh, this is the elevation which is this number one on sheet a62 so I simply need to call it this elevation here. I need something to call it if I double click here one on a 6.2. And that's it. So you simply need to make uh, three more of these because you're going to want this arrow pointing to the left, pointing to the right, pointing down. So you can call these east tag, west tag, south tag, 
and then each individual block is placed on the screen and points to the elevation that's being referred to. So I can simply do that by copying what I have here because it's already been created. I can copy this over to here. I can explode it or X, explode it. I can rotate RO, this triangle with the hatch, and I'm gonna rotate around the center of this text. So the I N S, uh, the, ins the insertion point. I don't see the insertion point. I don't see. I just saw it there, there. That's the insertion point of the text. That that dot right there in the center of this text. So I drew a line from the INS or the insertion point of this text. Therefore, I need to rotate the circle around that point. Therefore, it'll go in a circle. So if I rotate this from that point there, the end point there, I can rotate it up here. I can then change this tag. So for example, this tag will be formatted uh, I probably don't want to go center because it might run into this into this uh, arrowhead here. So I'm going to change this format. Right-click properties. I'm going to change the format to the left side instead. Middle left. So it changes its orientation. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to double-click on it and change its name from north to west tag there and then I make a block uh, list L of tag the insertion point here would be the middle of this line and then hit OK and so what elevation is this looking to the left so I would have to refer back to the drawing and that would be this wall here number four So double click, this would be a four on a 6.2. And the text starts here and goes to the, to the right. That's why I formatted it to be left justified, not center, because I wanted that to be centered. That works for north and south, but doesn't work for east and west. There, I can simply copy this tag, move it to here. I can explode it. I then find where the, well, this would be a little trickier. Um, the insertion point of this text is actually right there. So I'm going to mirror this over that INS, the insertion point of this text. So you need to, you know, I'll just use this line here. Let's just use this line here. I guess I didn't grab the entire thing. Let's mirror this about this line here with my ortho turned on. Don't need that. And then move this text over to this side. Now I can't justify this from the left any longer because the text would be way over here. I need to justify it from the right side and make it go toward the left side. So this property is a little different. This needs to be formatted from the, let's see, the middle right. And it'll grow from that point to the left. And that point here needs to be in the middle, or MID, of this line here. And maybe move back a little bit. So that's my, my next tag, and I'll call that east, east tag and again I make a block east lf tag select these objects pick point would be the middle of this arrow right here hit OK and then I, I have no idea what that is so I simply go back and that would be one of these elevations here maybe it's number five 
So this is 5 on A62. 5 on A6.2. Hit OK. And then move it into position. There. So this tech can be copied over to this side. This tech can be copied over to that side as well to show um, where this elevation is located here, where this elevation is located here, where this elevation is located, and where the bottom of this, this here, is located by simply flipping flipping this arrow over. And these can be moved independently, and they all have their own names. And that's how you can quickly create elevation tags that point to the proper elevations between plans. Okay, so, and that's that for this video.